It's now here and it's a super exciting time for WordPress users. I'm excited about this video because what we've been waiting for is now happening in the WordPress space. Not long ago, we saw how the AI disrupted a lot of things online, changed the way we did website, changed the way we designed website application. For WordPress users, we're wondering what is the future. But right now, we are now seeing how AI is now integrated into this WordPress space and it's super, super exciting. In this video, I want to show you how you can begin to use natural human prompting because now we are moving away from the days of manually designing to vibe coding where you just want to type in natural human languages and you want to do technical stuff. And that's now being possible inside of WordPress. Not long ago, I did a similar video like this showing you how AI site planner with Elementor is changing the game, how you can just go to AI and type in your human language and then AI can begin to design your website. In this one, I want to show you Kodi that can have like a personal assistant to you that can consult for you in your web design project, regardless of wherever you are. It's fantastic. It's Kodi by Ostinger. Without further ado, I think I should take you to my screen. Let me show you exactly how amazing this AI is. Here's the announcement from Ostinger launching Kodi. It says here, meet Kodi, your instant companion for building and managing your website. This uh, blog post was launched September 8, 2024, just pretty much recently. And there is a lot of upgrade going on right now using this. So Kodi will be particularly interesting for VPS users. Just think of it if you have a VPS account and now you can now manage it yourself just using your human language to prompt an AI assistant to do server complex stuff and is able to do that in real time. How cool and awesome is this? And this is revolutionary for Ostinga user and I'm also pretty much excited about it. But that is outside of the scope of what I really want to talk about in this video because I want to limit this to WordPress because this would definitely also work if you were to be using Ostinga website builder too as well. But right now we want to work with uh, WordPress. So you can see that you can use Kodi on your H panel, on your Ostinga website builder, like I mentioned, your WordPress dashboard, VPS hosted, and also on the Ostinga website. So let's go to the Ostinga website. Let's see how to use uh, Kodi. If you come down here by your far right, you will see Kodi here. Super, super cool stuff there. Uh, let's say this is your first time you're trying to build a website. You don't even have an idea on what to do. Uh, what hosting plan is the best for you. You don't even know what to do at all. Kodi can help you here. And let's see what Kodi is able to do for us. So uh, let's come to Kodi here and let's start having a natural conversation with Kodi. And immediately you can see <laughs> common questions here. I want to create a website. I want to migrate a website. I need help choosing the right hosting plan. And that sort of makes sense, right? Because this is, in my opinion, the scope of anything bringing you to Ostinger. By the way, we'll leave the link to Ostinger in the video description in case you want to uh, check this fantastic awesome tool out so right now let's just say that i want to create a website so let me use this one let's have this conversation with cody let's see how fun this would be he says that's great what type of website are you planning to create for example personal blog business site online store or something else let's say i want to create a personal portfolio website right thanks for sharing do you have any experience building website or would you prefer an easy to use website builder that's Cody trying to sell hosting uh, that website builder to us. I'm pretty much sure that's where this conversion is going. But let me just say I would prefer to design with WordPress. Perfect. Will your portfolio website have mostly images or text? Do you plan to add advanced features like contact form, galleries, or a blog? Absolutely. And then I have an answer here. It says that the premium plan is perfect for your WordPress portfolio. It supports up to 25 websites, unlimited bandwidth, free domain for the first year, and free email. Wow, that's good. Here is your personalized cart link to get started. Super awesome. So once I click this link, I can check out straight up. No wasting of time. That is fantastic, right? <laughs> I like this. I think I love this conversation. Let me continue. Let me see if I tell this tool I would love to migrate my website to Ostinga. Let's see what this is able to do for us. Okay, I think there's a mistake here to Ostinga. I hope, I hope the Ostinga is correct. Whatever, if it's correct or not, let's just continue. 
All right. Yes, Ostinga offers free website migration for new customers on your premium plan. You can request to move your existing website and our team will undo the transfer at an extra cost. If you need help starting the migration, let me know. So Cody, as it were, has been trained to know nitty-gritty everything about Ostinga that it would give you literally any information that is related to Ostinga helping you getting started. I think I like that. I like that. So right now, let's go into our Ostinger panel and let's see exactly what we can still do with Cody since we can use it inside of our Ostinger panel too as well and then inside our WordPress eventually. Right here, again, I have Ask Cody and I really do need to mention this that Cody, according to Ostinger, is only available for plants from business plan to cloud up startup literally for free. You can use it. So I'm not sure it's available on the premium plan because that's exactly what's written on the uh, announcement blog here. So you, I'll leave a link to this too as well in the video description. You can come here and come and read more about this. Uh, so, so I just need to say that in case you're using the premium plan already and then maybe you're not seeing Cody, I just hope this will be available for everyone because I find this super, super amazing. Um. Super curious to what extent is Cody able to help us do stuff here. I really don't know, but I want to believe that Cody should be able to help us create a new WordPress website. You should be able to help us create new emails, uh, do some stuff. Maybe we should ask the AI. Let's ask Cody what Cody is able to do here. So I'm going to ask, kindly specify the least of everything you can do for me in the H panel. I'm just super curious to know exactly the list of everything. Okay, I have a result here. Here is what I can assist you with in H panel. I can manage your hosting account, change email, delete account, recover access. Oh, I think that's cool. I can help with shared account, adding, removing users. That will be perfect if you have an account with Ostinga and you want to probably give your developer an access. Oh, that's fantastic. Or any other person, maybe your team, an access to your server. That's a fantastic thing there. Uh, so you can just tell this AI, help me grant this email an access to my account. Uh, guide you through managing your two WordPress websites in business web hosting. Okay. Uh, provide instructions for using each panel features to the hardening website, view no single plans, assist with backup information. Okay. And uh, let me just create another website here. Let's see if this AI is able to do that for us. Maybe we should just do this. This is two instructions at the same time. Let's see if Cody is able to respond to that. It says you, have, you currently have two WordPress websites, both using temporary hosting domains. To create another domain name with the WordPress installation, go to the section. During the setup, choose a new website. Would you like a step-by-step -step guide? Can you create a temporary domain name? I just want to know. I want to see what this is able to do. But apparently from that result, I can tell that uh, Cody as it is right now isn't able. I can directly... I can directly create a temporary domain name for you, but you can easily do this from your H panel and it's telling me what to do. So you see... Uh, Cody is pretty much new. I'm still waiting for that time where you just a prompt is able to create a temporary domain name for me. And I think that's fantastic. By the way, I did watch a video from Feddy and Feddy asked uh, this to create a subdomain and he did create a subdomain and that's pretty much quite awesome, right? So I want to believe that you create subdomains but not necessarily domain names. Another thing that is running through my head right now is, is Cody able to help me perform repetitive tasks? For example, analytics of my website, I want you to check it for me, analyze it, and then do that every other week. Is Cody able to do that? I doubt this is able to do that right now because I doubt this have memory stored to understand us and our preferences. But again, this is the new days of AI integrating with WordPress. So I want to believe that this is progressive. This is the step in the right direction in terms of integrating AI and WordPress. Uh, especially from an Austin account, this is quite very, very fantastic. Uh, but again, let's, let me ask, let's see what this is able to say. Are you able to help me create repetitive tasks and automations? I'm not sure I got repetitive correctly, but again, I'm going to leave that the way it is. Oh, that needs to happen through a Chrome job. 
this is your personal assistant that can help you do some simple web task here and there. Nothing much more, nothing complex. That's everything you can see that this is able to do for you. Without wasting time, let's go to a WordPress website and let's just see what this is able to do for us. So now instead of WordPress in a temporary domain, you can see that we can ask AI here. And it's a fantastic thing to continue with Kodi. And you can see Kodi here says is in beta. So you definitely won't be expecting much to as well from Kodi here. And the next thing to ask you is to allow Kodi to manage your site. You want to turn this on here. Uh, but if you can't even see Ask AI here, if you can't see that future, let me just show you exactly. Let me just say no thanks to this pop-up and let's close this. And if you come to tools, if you scroll down here, you will see this AI tool here. You see allow Kodi to manage your site. So this is where you can manually turn this on yourself. You want to make sure that you refresh your website. This is extremely important so that <laughs> this gets saved, right? Uh, so now you can begin to now use Kodi now to manage your WordPress website. First off, let's even see what we have in front end. Let's see what we have there. And my store is still coming soon. I might want to just make that public. Let's make our store live just for tutorial purpose. Nothing really. So let's come back to the front end and then let's see. Okay, you can see that we are selling uh, some good uh, facial products here. Let's see if we can use a Kodi here to manage a product inside of WooCommerce. Maybe the pricing, the description. We can just uh, do something like that. For example, this suiting sunscreen gel is sold for $25.50. Let's open that in a new page. Let's see what we have there. So you can see that I don't even have a description for this. This is just demo content here. Uh, let me just uh, probably just uh, copy the this product and let's come back to the back end here uh let's launch uh kodi and let me just ask you can you even help me change uh my product uh pricing uh let's see what's even going to say first before we continue this um super 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 absolutely i can help you update your product pricing can you provide me the product name or sku let me know the price or whatever so i'll just put uh this product change it to 50 dollars so let's do that all right so you can see the price of this product has been changed to 50 us dollars so let's go back here and let's refresh this let's see that so you can see this has changed okay let's come back let's see uh, uh, all right back here can you write the product description Okay, so this is the description here. If you want to update or rewrite the description, just let me know your preferred text. That's the thing. The AI doesn't really know much about this, but can you write something random? Can you write something random that matches the product? Let's see if this is able to do that for us. Yes, go ahead and use this. Some typo there. All right, so let's do that. Okay, updated. Let's come back here. Let's do a refresh. Let's see that. Okay, so we still have this here. Okay, I want to believe this is a shop description. Okay, this is the main description here. All right, let's go back and tell Cody to change the short description to as well. Oh, I have all cap, uh, but I'm going to use it that way. I want to believe that this here is able to figure that out. Uh, let me turn off my cap. That's updated. Let's come back here and let's refresh this. Let's see. So you can see here, this is it. Let's had a 20% sale on this product. We want this valid for just seven days, right? So let's see if this is able to do that for us. Oh, good. A 20% sale has been added to this product, reducing the price to $40 for the next seven days. After this period, the price will automatically return back to $50. <laughs> you can view the product. I love Cody and I love what you are able to do with it. I'm 
pretty, pretty much open and uh, looking forward to seeing more awesome stuff that we can do using this fantastic AI tool. This is just the beginning. I want to believe that in another one, two, three, four years from now, I'm just imagining what WordPress environment will look like and how we are going to be uh, using WordPress. I pretty much believe that it will be different from entirely everything we are doing today because AI has come, AI has come to stay. So go ahead and give Kodi a chance on your WordPress website using Ostinga. And if you're not already using Ostinga, now you are lagging behind. You see a link in the video description to Ostinga just in case you want to invest in them. You will be glad you did. If you find this video useful, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions whatsoever, to let me know in the comment section. I'll look out for them. And that's my time. I would see you in another tutorial. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on those tutorials. Keep building, keep winning, and have a wonderful time.